Right, guys, we got some breaking news here, and I won't beat about the bush because it's actually good news, or partially anyway. Shamila Begum has been banned from entering the UK by the Supreme Court, a massive victory for common sense and the safety of this country. As you all know, after leaving the UK to become the pincushion of some delusional idiot, she spent a fair amount of time trying to get back in. Lawyers and activist groups have done their best with the help from the media, but it seems the Supreme Court is not having it, because she is now not allowed back in even to attend court for an appeal against her citizenship being removed, so I would say she is gone and hopefully for good. In my mind, this should teach anyone that going abroad to become the jihadi spunk trumpet of some low-life fuck pig means you won't be coming back, and rightly so. But what really annoys me about this is that we have Tory MPs actually calling for her to be returned and charged over here, claiming they can give her a life sentence and all this nonsense. Yeah, they actually said this, as you will see here in the Express article we're gonna check out. It headlines Shamina Begum banned from returning to the UK. Supreme Court rejects jihadi bride's appeal. Shamina Begum has lost her appeal to return to the UK to fight the removal of her citizenship the Supreme Court has ruled today, literally about 15 minutes ago now. The Supreme Court has ruled today that the ISIS bride should not be able to return to the UK to pursue an appeal against the removal of her British citizenship. Prior to the decision, in a letter to Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab and Home Secretary Priti Patel, MPs warned refusing to repatriate the ISIS bride could backfire on the UK. I really don't see how that is. It says, ahead of today's Supreme Court hearing on her repatriation, four Tory MPs claim the UK justice system is the best way to deal with Begum and other ISIS brides held in Syria. If Begum and other British nationals held abroad are not returned to the UK, it could leave the extremists in an ungoverned space, the MP has claimed. Yes, you can keep them in an ungoverned space away from us, you just stop them from entering the fucking country, that is all that matters. This is just fucking unbelievable, and even more so that it's coming from Tory MPs. Actually, given the way the Tory party acts, it's not really that unbelievable. I kind of expect it at this point. In the letter, MPs Andrew Mitchell, David Davis, Tom Tugendhat and Tobias Elwood insisted inaction over their cases would not reflect well on the UK's reputation. To which I have to respond, you saying all this does not reflect well on your own reputation, you bunch of snivelling shit weasel. This is not what the people want, certainly not the Tory voters who got you in, let me tell you that. It goes on, the ISIS brides are housed in camps in northeast Syria, which are operated by Allied forces. The US has repatriated 28 Americans from these camps to be tried and had offered support to the UK, the MPs claim. No one gives a shit. What the Americans do is irrelevant, it doesn't fucking matter. If the Americans nuked themselves, would you say that because they've done it, we should do it? Of course not, you bunch of fucking morons. This sort of shit here really pisses me off. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, the four MPs said, If they are judged to be a risk, then all the more reason why they should be returned to Britain, where they can be processed by the British criminal justice system. Which, as we know, is piss-weak and completely useless. It's a bit like our immigration system at this point. In fact, it shouldn't even be called the criminal justice system. It should literally be called the taxpayer holiday system, because that's what it is. It's more like fucking butlins than it is a prison. It goes on, there are a host of potentially applicable offences on the statute book, such as preparation of terrorist acts under Section 5 of the Terrorism Act 2006, which can carry a life sentence. Now, I don't obviously need to tell you why we don't want that. We don't want to be paying for this bitch to be in prison for the rest of her life. What would be the point of that? At the moment, she's over there and not costing us fuck all. Let's keep it like that. That is the way the public wants it. They go on, the Director of Public Prosecutions has made crystal clear Britain's returning from Syria can be prosecuted saying he expects this to happen in the vast majority of cases. Yes, but I would say the fucking people over here that run around raping children don't get prosecuted by this tosspot director of public prosecution, so I'm not really holding much hope that they're going to be doing it for the jihadi spunk trumpets, are you really? Goes on, any returning prisoner who committed crimes in Syria will face British justice. Our justice system is also best placed to deal with the deep complexities of these cases. You mean to allow them to get off scot-free and be walking around next to you and me within a week? That is what will happen if you let them back here. I can almost fucking guarantee it. And the rest of it just talks about shit we know, like the Home Office saying that they made the decision based on the fact that she still poses a threat to UK security, which she does, and let's be honest, always will. So guys, at least I can say that this is some partially good news. The court has actually ruled that she ain't fucking coming back, and that is a good thing. What the fuck these Tory MPs think they're doing, though, is beyond me. Bunch of snivelling shit weasels, I'm sure you would all agree.